Okay, besties, today I have a small chaos apartment for you. Basically, I built this apartment out of spite. You'll understand more when I show you, but brief context, I built this on stream and I decided to use this rug that I never use, this very particular swatch of a Get Famous rug. It's yellow and blue, it's actually pretty cute. Like we were all sort of into it. And then I was like, what if I make the entire apartment yellow and blue? And it, it sort of devolved from there. And the more my Twitch chat fought back on me for this yellow and blue, the worse I made it. And I actually think it's kind of cute, but maybe in like a acquired taste sort of way. So let's jump into it. So you will very quickly understand what I mean by this, but this apartment is one of the ones in Eco Lifestyle, but I made it like the updated version. So when you do like the modern developments in Evergreen Harbor, it'll change into this one. But it's one of those like two small apartments in Eco Lifestyle. I never build in these. I don't know why. I think because they're the windows kind of bother me, <laughs> truthfully. This one's better because it has slightly bigger windows, but in the like pre-updated one, the windows are so small. So I kind of avoid this one, but it's actually kind of big. I managed to make it three bedrooms. It's a three bed, one bath apartment. And then it has like a big open living, dining, kitchen area. It's not that big, but all things considered, it, it has a lot of space. So I kind of like that about it. Okay, and there's actually a stream meme that devolved from this apartment, so I'm gonna explain it to you. Because I, it's one of those things where when you've been live for a long time, some things are just probably funnier than they actually are. <laughs> but basically, I was building this apartment, and then someone in chat said, not gonna lie, this apartment is on uggo mode. Which made me laugh, because it was a weird thing to say. And then we sort of started making jokes about it. Like, I, I ended up putting this egg bed, like an egg jog bed, in the bedroom, and then we were like, haha, it's on ego mode. And then <laughs> I was like, I refuse to put a trash can, because I had forgotten, and there was no longer space for one. And we were like, maybe there's just no trash. It's on eco mode. And like, I, look, you had to be there, okay? It was so dumb, but we were just it, hysterical at this point. Like, the apartment was so weird, and I had made these choices of this bright blue and yellow everywhere that, like, ego mode was funny, you know? I think we've all been in these sort of situations with friends before where like the dumbest things just devolve and you're like cry laughing about it. This was one of those times. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, the apartment, while it is maybe a little bit ugly, uh, I will admit that, I actually kind of like it. So it was fun for me to build. But I do want to tell you very briefly a horror story of what happened to me this morning. Okay, so it's 10 a.m. right now, okay? I get a call from my dad of like an hour ago, kind of panicked, like, Kayla, I just heard from the neighbor that the dogs have busted down the front door and are running around the neighborhood. And I was like, they what? <laughs> like, so here I am thinking the dogs like broke the glass front door and are possibly injured and running around the neighborhood. So I'm all panicked, my family's at work. So I have to go home to like make sure the dogs are okay. So I like get into my car as fast as I can. I drive home, I live like 10 minutes away from my parents. So it was like easy to get there. And as I'm driving, I'm like looking around the street like while I'm getting close to the house, like do I see the dogs anywhere? Like what's going on? Well, I get to the house, I pull up, the front door is open, so I'm like, oh, that's not good, but it's not broken. But I go inside, and the dogs are inside! So here I was, like, all panicked, thinking the dogs have escaped, and they're injured, like, they're covered in broken glass, like, I just went to the worst of the worst in my mind, just to get home, and then they're inside. They're just laying on the floor inside, and they're like, oh, hi, Kayla! <laughs> So here, I was so stressed out. I don't know why the neighbor was like, they busted down the door. Like, you could have just said the doors open. I mean, to be fair, I would assume that the dogs were escaped too, if I had seen the door open. But like, busted down the door is different than it being open. Like, I thought they had broken it, which is very different. And maybe I went to like, the worst of the worst in my mind. But anyway, I had a little panic moment this morning, but it's fine, because they were okay and just inside. Just inside. And here I was thinking I was gonna like, run around the neighborhood and like, corral them and find them and like, they're missing, but no, they were just on the floor. <laughs> It was fine. Although one of the cats had gotten out and believe it or not, he went out the front door and around to the patio and was sitting by the patio door crying to be let in when I got home. So um, that was pretty smart of him to do that, you know? So maybe they saw the little black cat running around and thought like, he busted down the door. <laughs> He's escaped. The killer is escaping. You know, like maybe that's what, he, what they assumed. But um, no, no, he was just on the back patio crying to be let in. The, the whole vision of this, like the cat leaves an open door to go to a closed door and cry to get let in is just so typical. <laughs> like, you're so smart, buddy. I'm I'm real proud of you. Anyway, you may have noticed by this point that the, the house is a bit on elgo mode. Um, it, no one liked that yellow wallpaper. People really did not like the yellow wallpaper. I kind of liked it. I thought it was fun. I like the color. I think it's pretty. But my Twitch chat did not agree. <laughs> 
<laughs> they were like violently opposed to that yellow wallpaper, which just made me want to keep it more. Although the other kid's bedroom, like this long skinny one, I do think is actually really cute. Like I really liked that one. So you win some, you lose some. I think it turned out okay, personally. <laughs> but I had fun using a lot of furniture I don't use very often. Like for some reason, I never use that city living single bed, but it has some kind of cute swatches. So I used it in here. I also used a lot of Dream Home Decorator, but truth be told, I always use a lot of Dream Home Decorator. It's just so useful to have so many items with so many good swatches, you know? Like Dream Home Decorator is such a lifesaver to have two new kitchen sets and like so many good like basics type furniture. I am obsessed. So I, I tend to use it a lot because it fits in pretty well, especially in kids rooms because there's just so many beds and like everything about it is good. So I, I know I use it a lot, but it has a yellow swatch. <laughs> And look at my apartment. It was perfect. It was made to be, okay? <laughs> I also got to use that mosquito stuff wallpaper with the blue and yellow stripes. I mean, we really got to go all out with this one. <laughs> I even used a My First Pet Stuff rug. You might not believe this, but that tiny blue like square rug, My First Pet Stuff, that is the same rug that has the like rat swatch. <laughs> I think it's a hamster, but there's like a hamster swatch and there's like a animal print swatch. And then there's a couple like plain solid square swatches. Who knew? Do you know what? I need more plain solid square rugs in this game. I always say this, and I, I know I'm speaking as a person who just built a patterned blue and yellow apartment, but I would very much like to see more plain swatches on rugs in this game. Like, I just want a plain square. They did a pretty good job with this in the new industrial loft kit to give us some like plain fuzzy rugs, but I need more shapes. I need more sizes. Give me a plain square. Like, <laughs> I just, I long for more basics in this game. And again, I realize this may not seem true based on the appearances of this apartment, but um, blue and yellow are basics. You know, it might be bright, but it's, it's a nice neutral color palette. No, it's not, I'm sorry. I do think it's pretty though. I think this kind of thing is fun. It's very different from what I usually build, but I do think it turned out kind of cute. And the colors work well together. It's an apartment, so it's allowed to be silly, right? If I had done the like outside of this place, like if it was like a house that had like bright yellow and blue exterior walls, maybe it would be a bit much. But because you can't see the exterior walls, like it's fine. And to be fair, this building has a grass roof. Not a glass roof, a grass roof. Like, like with plants on the roof. So it's funky on its own. I can do whatever I want on the inside. That's the rules. And you know what else? All in all, I think that I managed to fit a lot of stuff in here like pretty well. It has a full big kitchen. It's got an island, a dining table, a living room with a couch and a TV, like three bedrooms for an apartment this size. I think we did okay. To be fair, it's kind of hard to like split up these apartments in ways that are different than how you usually do it. I've noticed I have this problem of like building the same apartment with different furnishings over and over again. But the problem is, you can't move the windows so like the layout's not gonna change much <laughs> right? Like you, the layout kind of has to be the way it is originally to an extent because like that's where the windows are and you're not going to have a bedroom with no windows, you know? It's just not a thing. Well, in some places it is, <laughs> but I don't want to do that in the Sims if possible. So, you know, you're kind of stuck with what you have to work with. So you can't really flip it very easily because then it just, then you're going to have no windows in the kitchen and living space and that would be sad. So anyway, someone mentioned that in my Twitch chat. They're like, you always build this apartment like this. And I was like, well, yeah, a little bit. Sometimes it's only two bedrooms rooms though. <laughs> this one has a long skinny third bedroom. But to be fair, you really can't move anything else though. Cause like then there's no windows and that would just be sad. But that's the whole apartment pretty much done. Now I want to pop into the game and give you a tour up close and personal. Now we got to figure out what save I built this in. Yes. Okay. So this apartment is in this building, the Stone Street Apartments on the left side. And you can see it's like the updated version of the buildings. Very eco, eco mode. You walk in through a big front door. They have a little mailbox there. I can't change the outside. So it just looks like that. But you come in and then there's a big one room sort of living area. Kind of expensive. They have some decent appliances. I tried to use some interesting wall textures and stuff too. And of course, you know, blue and yellow. <laughs> but this is the whole space. I think it works pretty well. Like truthfully, I, I don't even think it's that ugly. And it was fun trying to use some of the new swatches on things. Like these are the new curtain swatches. This is a new painting they just added. That's base game and so are those curtains. And then down the hallway are all the other rooms, which kind of makes sense. Like it's a pretty realistic layout in my opinion. There's a bathroom sort of in the center, uh, also very blue. The parents have the biggest room, double bed, nice wallpaper, giant plant, computer, sitting area, all the necessities. Then we 
have the room my Twitch chat hated, <laughs> even though I kind of like it. And then we have that last kid's room. And I think this one's my favorite one. I think this is the most practical to put in like a normal house that isn't bright yellow. I think that this one would fit in most of them. I just love this wallpaper. I think it's so cute. I use it all the time, but like, it's just good. It's fun and colorful and pretty, but it's not like too bright. So it works pretty well. Anyway, it's just a good one. That's the whole apartment. There's not a lot to see. It is on the gallery if you want to download it. But just to remind you guys, to download an apartment, you have to place it as a room. So you have to be in build mode and then look for rooms on the gallery and then place it down. I don't have enough money. That's because you can't upload apartments as like apartments. So when you place it, you'll have to do it like this. And then you'll see that I have some missing walls. That's to make it so it's all one room. Like you see when I click on it, it's not like separated. And then you just have to rebuild the walls. I know it's kind of annoying, but it's the only way to to place them on the gallery. So I have it set up so that you can just see where it goes and then put it right back. Technically you can actually make it all one room while it still looks separate, like appearance wise. Like you can do stuff like this and the game still counts it as being all one room, but I just find it's easier to delete the walls by the doors and then let you add them back. So that's what I have done, but you can grab it that way. I know it has a lot of packs, but I do so many base game builds. Like when I built this on stream, I had previously just built a base game pool. <laughs> Like that day, I made this first a base game public pool and then like right afterward built this apartment. So I do a lot of limited pack builds. This one I, I wanted to uh, fully embrace my blue and yellow <laughs> to the fullest extent. So I did just that. I'm gonna go though. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more apartments, let me know. I kinda wanna build like some fake apartments because you could make like the shape of this building really easily. And it's a pretty realistic sort of apartment style. So we could probably build like our own fake apartment building. Maybe we could do a base game one. So that way if you don't have apartments, you can actually still pretend to play in apartments, you know? and then just leave like the other ones empty like they did. Could be an idea. But with that being said, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. I'm sorry if you hate the apartment, by the way. <laughs> I realize that it's, it is an acquired taste. I just thought it was fun. So I, I enjoyed building it, but you know, if you don't like it, that's okay, I won't be offended. Just don't tell me, you know, and then everyone will be happy. <laughs> if you hate it, keep it to yourself.